Well, you join me surrounded by Georgian splendour here on Great Pulteney Street for another of Bath's Best Bits. Completed in 1789, designed by Thomas Baldwin, Great Pulteney Street was meant to be at the centre of a new town south of the river. However, the French Revolution caused panic in the country. Four major banks went bust, including the one financing the project. So Great Pulteney Street was it. At 300 metres long and 30 metres wide, Great Pulteney Street is the longest, widest, and the grandest street in the whole city. But just off of Great Pulteney Street, Sunderland Street, the shortest street in the city, only has one address. So at the opposite end of Great Pulteney Street, from Pulteney Bridge, behind us, the old Sydney Hotel, later converted into Bath's first public art gallery, the Holborn Museum. Housing exhibitions for everyone from David Hockney to Grayson Perry and beyond. So Great Pulteney Street houses not only private residences, but a number of hotels, restaurants and this fantastic cocktail bar at number 15. Old fashioned, please. We're relaxing in a hotel cocktail bar isn't for you. If you're a little more active, Great Pulteney Street is the starting point of the Bath Half Marathon. Just off of Pulteney Street behind me is Bath Recreation Ground and also the home of Bath Rugby. Great Pulteney Street is a typical example of the Georgian architecture in the city where the frontage is symmetrical and the back is anything but. Another example of the famous term all fur coat and no knickers. At the Pulteney Bridge end of Great Pulteney Street, behind me is Laura Fountain. This is actually a recent addition put up in the 1970s. Originally, it was going to be a huge column, twice the height of the houses. But that idea was very quickly scuppered. So a fountain was erected, but the summer of 1969 proved a little too heady for the local students who completely trashed the fountain. Which is why you have this modern edition nowadays. So thank you for joining us at Great Pulteney Street. Join us again next time on Bath's Best Bits where we'll be discovering some of the more famous and the little unknown gems here in our stunning city. <laughs>